Here they come, the Shenzhou 18 crew, to share what they have experienced in space and back home. It was the second time for Commander Ye Guangfu to conduct the space mission, changing from the crew member aboard the Shenzhou 13 mission to the commander of the Shenzhou 18 mission. He also set a record among Chinese taikonauts after staying in space for more than a year and stressed the importance of teamwork. During the mission, we were united with the personnel on the ground, and all crew members aboard the space station were perfectly coordinated. It was just because of this that we smoothly and happily completed the half a year space mission and also jointly created a wonderful and unforgettable flying journey. Li Tsung said he is happy that all the wish lists he made before the mission were achieved. He also said he was impressed when meeting others play an important role in China's space program. The Shenzhou 17 crew passed me the baton in space, as well as their responsibility and expectations. And the meeting with the Shenzhou 19 crew urged me to find a quick way to help them adapt to life in space. Both experiences felt so great. Li Guangsu expressed pride when recalling the dozens of space experiments they managed to successfully complete. What impressed me most was the zebrafish experiment on China's space station. We value the zebrafish not only because they are important for the mission, but also our hopes in space. The way they adapted to space is just like what we did. We hope there could be more experiments and more results to benefit all humans. Now the Shenzhou 18 crew is in the recovery and observation stage. They are currently in a good physical and mental condition. And after the health assessment, they will undergo normal training for future missions. Just like what Commander Yu Guangfu said, every mission is completely new. And no matter how many times they have undertaken a mission to space, they will always join hands with everyone to achieve the goals. Zheng Yibing, CDTN, Beijing.